Is it just me, or is there something seriously wrong with Joe Biden's nominees? who over and over again are proven to be severely underqualified for the positions that they've been nominated for. Well, today, Senator Kennedy had a chance to question one of these judicial nominees, Cato Cruz, and it did not go well for him. I don't think this guy is going to get confirmed, much less able to get a job anywhere ever again. Uh, Judge Cruz, you handled a case called Vianet Operating Group v. Maurice. Is that right? That's correct, Senator. And you were reversed in that case, is that right? Uh, yes, sir. Hmm. You handled a case called Mudin v. University of Colorado, is that right? I believe so, Senator, yes. And you were reversed in that case, right? I believe a portion of my recommendation was reversed, yes. Okay. Hmm. Did, you, did you handle a case called Vreeland v. Vigil? Uh, yes, Senator. And you were reversed in that case, too? A portion of that was reversed as well, yes. Okay. Um, did you handle a case called Vreeland v. Olson? Yes, Senator. And were you reversed in that case, too? A portion of that was reversed as well, yes. Holy crap, we still got four minutes of this video. How many of these are there? Okay. You handled a case called... Key Bank National Association v. Williams, is that right? Yes, Senator. Uh, were you reversed in that case? Uh, Senator, I've, I've <laughs> issued over uh, 1,500 recommendations and orders over the course of my four years nominee. on the bench, and that is uh, one that was partially reversed, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, you handled a case called Renault v. Cardenas. Do you remember that case? Yes, Senator. And you were reversed in that case, too? A portion of that was reversed as well. Okay, I think this is all leading up to something. I'm not a lawyer, okay? So I'm not 100% on this. If any of you know, you have to let me know. But I think this is all leading up to a question that Kennedy's going to ask at the end of this. Uh, do you remember a case called Janney v. Gomez? Uh, yes, Senator. And were you reversed in that case? A portion of that was reversed as well, Senator. <laughs> okay. Is this normal How about a for case? this many reversals? Do you remember this case, uh, Judge? Uh, Schwartz v. City of Denver. Uh, the name is familiar, Senator. I've, for all the cases I've handled, I'm not recalling particulars sure. about that case. Okay. Do you remember being reversed in that case? <laughs> Senator, I, I'm not specifically recalling that case. Okay. Because Do you remember a case called it. Lucas v. Board of Commissioners <laughs> of going. Larimer County? Uh, the name is familiar, Senator. The details of the case are <laughs> He's not. He's already to hand dead. At the Do you remember being reversed in that case, <laughs> Senator? I don't recall offhand at the I'll moment. Oh, see, that case. I told you. Um, do you remember I a case called Brooks v. Colorado Department of Corrections? Uh, yes, Senator. Were you reversed in that I case? Don't recall. Uh, I'm not recalling uh, offhand if that was one where I had a partial reversal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you remember a case called A.C. v. Jefferson <laughs> County School District? Yes, Senator. Uh, were you rever reversed in that case? It was partially reversed in that case as well. Okay. You remember a case called Blake <laughs> v. United States? Is this normal? Uh, the, the name sounds familiar, Senator. Okay. Do you remember being reversed in that case? Uh, I don't specifically recall uh, that well, particular case. Well, you were. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I've got others here. Jeez. In cases that you handled in which you were reversed. I wonder why he was um, reversed. Hmm. Tell me why you've been reversed so often, Judge. Well, Senator, as I indicated, I've issued over 1,500 uh, recommendations and orders over the course of my uh, career. Uh, when I uh, approach any of these cases, uh, I approach them all in the same fashion, which is to uh, analyze the law, analyze the Supreme Court and Tenth Circuit precedent that bears on those cases, hmm. uh, and I apply those cases uh, to the law hmm. as a, or to the uh, facts of that case. Uh, as a magistrate judge, uh, many of those are recommendations that are made which are reviewed de novo. Uh, I respect the decisions uh, of those district judges uh, who viewed those circumstances differently. Okay. Hmm. Thank you, Judge. I wonder why. Tell me how you analyze a Brady motion. How I analyze a Brady motion? Yes. Uh, Senator, in my uh, four and a half years on the bench, I am not. don't believe I've had the occasion to uh, address a Brady uh, motion in my career. Do you know what a Brady motion is? Uh, 
Senator, uh, in my time on the bench, I've not had occasion to address that, and so uh, it's not coming to mind at the moment what a Brady motion is. That's not good. Um, do you recall the U.S. Supreme Court case, Brady v. Maryland? Uh, I do recall uh, the name of the case, uh, Senator, yes. And what did it hold? It I believe <laughs> that the uh, Brady case uh, in, well, Senator, I believe the Brady case involves something regarding the Second Amendment. It is not, I've not had occasion <laughs> to doesn't. address that. If that issue were to come before me, uh, I would certainly analyze that Supreme Court precedent uh, and apply it. Uh, as I would need to, to the facts in front of me. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. All right, so he doesn't actually say why he mentioned all those reversals and then finished with that question. So it turns out that what he was talking about, the Brady motion, has nothing to do with the Second Amendment, has nothing to do with Brady laws. According to Bloomberg Law, Cato Cruz, a magistrate judge in Denver who's been selected for a district court seat there, couldn't define a Brady motion and how to analyze it at his confirmation hearing on Wednesday. The motion, enshrined in a landmark Supreme Court ruling, is a request by a defendant to compel prosecutors in a criminal case to turn over potentially favorable evidence. When Cruz was asked how he comes to his decisions, he said that he analyzes the constitutional precedent. I uh, approach any of these cases, uh, I approach them all in the same fashion, which is to uh, analyze the law, analyze the Supreme Court and Tenth Circuit precedent that bears on those cases. But he doesn't even know this basic constitutional precedent. Now, like I said, I don't know anything about this stuff. I'm not a lawyer, but it seems to me all those cases that Kennedy was listing off may have been reversed because this guy didn't know anything about the Brady Law. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm sorry, the Brady motion. Anyway, just a humorous look at another one of these Biden nominees that just seems like they were put up there for reasons other than their qualifications. Thanks a lot, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please share, subscribe, hit that like button, and make sure to leave a comment to continue the discussion. Thanks a lot, I'll see you all in the next one.